a festive tradition With a modern twist, the Queen has delivered her annual Christmas speech reflecting on the highs and, more pertinently perhaps, the lows of 2009. This may be a time of cheer and goodwill, but there's no getting away from the fact it's been a tough 12 months for Britain. The Queen's reflected that, echoing the sentiments of her infamous Annus Horribilis speech in 1992. Each year that passes seems to have its own character. Some leave us with a feeling of satisfaction Others are best forgotten. 2009 was a difficult year for many, in particular those facing the continuing effects of the economic downturn. I am sure that we have all been affected by events in Afghanistan and saddened by the casualties suffered by our forces serving there. Our thoughts go out to their relations and friends who have shown immense dignity in the face of great personal loss. As head of the armed forces, the Queen is acutely aware of the dangers facing troops on the front line. Indeed, her own grandson, Prince Harry, has served alongside those men and women in Helmand. He came back safely, more fortunate than many. Not only is she Britain's Queen, she's also the head of the Commonwealth, a union which is 60 years old this year and which she's determined to protect for the future. For many, the practical assistance and networks of the Commonwealth can give skills, lend advice and encourage enterprise. And with continuing support and dedication, I'm confident that this diverse Commonwealth of Nations can strengthen the common bond that transcends politics, religion, race, and economic circumstances. The message will be watched by millions around the world. The Queen's chance to show that she's in touch with all her subjects, wherever they may be.